Tati, I think you have something here. Hey there, welcome to my channel, The Font Files. My name is Kiki, and in today's video, I'll be comparing two beauty tools. One you might be familiar with, which is the traditional beauty blender, versus the Tati Beauty Blendiful. It also comes with this cute little guy as well, which I won't be testing out. I'll just be focusing on the big one. So keep on watching if you'd like to see how, in fact, everything turned out and my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm gonna try my best to use the exact amount of product on both sides to make this versus contest, whatever you wanna call it, fair. So I'm just gonna do it in the typical order of how I do my makeup normally. I've already completed my eye look, which there is a separate video for that. So I'm gonna start off with the MAC Cosmetics 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer in the shade NC50. Now I'm going to spot conceal and then let it dry down a little bit so that I have a little bit more staying power. Um, then I'm gonna take some concealer up here. And this is gonna be hard for my nose area. Down the bridge. I like to put some in there. Especially when I wear um, lip products, so that way it can look nice and even. And then usually I put some in here. While this area is drying down a little bit, I'm gonna start blending out everything else. So this beauty blender is completely damp, and the excess water has been squeezed out with a paper towel. You never want to use a beauty blender wet nor dry because it's not really effective. Let's blend this out. All right, so this should be pretty dry now. I'm just gonna tap and kind of lightly blend this out. There we go. That's my little trick. Now let's do this side. I'm actually nervous just because I've never used anything quite like this and I'm just hoping for the best. Let me actually kind of practice, I guess. Okay, this feels nice. We're gonna move on to the side. Same thing, same amount of product. Here we go, guys. I don't know why the heck I'm acting nervous. Like I don't know how to put on makeup. Okay. So one thing I can say is that like it keeps the coverage. It kind of keeps the coverage like really nice, actually. Dang. All right, let me do my under eye because that's really what I care about. Wow, that actually kept the coverage really nice. Let's do this side of the nose. I will say it's a little harder to like squeeze it, but it's not impossible. Okay. You definitely can get under there pretty easy. Hmm. I'm actually curious to see what this is gonna look like when I set it with powder. I think that's really what's going to set it off. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer on both sides and bring it down just a little bit for the second layer actually. All right, let's move on to foundation. Okay, I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Sublime Foundation in the color medium 27. I have an entire video on this. All right, let's do the beauty blender first. I'm gonna use the back side. I'm just gonna blend that in. Mm, I love this foundation, it's so long. If you guys haven't tried this, definitely go to Sephora, get color matched, take a sample so you can see if you actually like it or not. Um, and I think you'll fall in love. All right, let's do the other side before it dries down. Just kind of like doing tapping, patting motions. I'm gonna do two layers of this, by the way. The coverage is definitely there. 
Uh, yeah, so that's what it looks like with the Tati. And that's what it looks like with the Beauty Blender one layer. They honestly look the same. So let's do one more layer just to see. The coverage is like kind of flawless. And then Beauty Blender. Okay, next up we're going to contour a bit using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the color Espresso. Okay, all right, let's go with the Beauty Blender first. Okay, and now the Tati Blendful. I'm actually gonna use another corner. Surprisingly, that blended way easier than I thought it would. Okay. Now I'm going to set my under eye with the Beauty Bakery setting powder in the color yellow. I really like to just kind of press it in. I'm gonna pick up some from my wrist and really just do a nice thin workable layers. I'm just gonna set a little bit more. Again, keeping it nice and thin just to kind of have like a brightening effect. I guess I'll use another corner and then I'm just going to tap. Even removing some of the excess powder, there's definitely more, that looks, um, there's definitely more product that got distributed, which could be a good thing, actually. Oh my goodness. All right, let's do one more sweep of powder. Tati, I think you have something here. Up close, like it's hard to really say what the difference is, but again, this distributes more product even though I had tapped off some of the excess. That's literally all I can say. So I'm just going to sweep away. I'm gonna take some mineral powder just to set everything and add a little bit more. So there you have it you guys. This completes the final look using the traditional beauty blender versus the Tati Blendiful. Now, my final thoughts, they pretty much both look the same. I am, however, a professional makeup artist, so I think for someone like me, I can get them to look the same. But for someone that might be a beginner or intermediate, I will say that you do have to make sure you prep this according to the directions, otherwise it will end up doing more harm than good. So basically, if you don't wet this, it's not effective, but if you wet, have it too wet, excuse me, um, it, it's gonna lift up your makeup. As opposed to this, you don't have to wet it at all. You can just go straight into it. So let's say you don't have water handy, this would be great. Um, however, as far as maintenance and cleaning this, like to me, cleaning this is a lot more, you know, convenient. Um, I am also oily combination, so I'm curious to see, based on uh, the things that she mentioned in her video, how this bad boy will work out for me. I won't be doing an entire video on this, instead I'll probably share this on my stories or on my Super Great account um, specifically for this item. But check out my Super Great, otherwise my Instagram if you want to see more details on this. So yeah, that's pretty much it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it very useful if you're considering buying this. Overall, I will say it is a flaunt because it didn't perform horribly. I hope you guys have an amazing, blessed, productive day and don't forget to flaunt your faith and fight your flesh. Till next time.